and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to update your server from Minecraft 1.17.1 to Minecraft 1.18. Now first of all, I do want to mention that this will also work for 1.18 to 1.18.1 or even 1.17.1 to 1.18.1 if you have basically, you know, waited to upgrade until 1.18.1 comes out, which I understand because there's some bugs in 1.18 that might prevent you from wanting to update your server. So honestly, I would just kind of wait until 1.18.1 comes out, but it's going to work the same no matter which version of Minecraft you are updating to. However, it is a bit more involved than using somewhere like Apex Minecraft hosting to update your server, where all you do is log in, click a button, and select the server version you want. And the good news is Apex is the sponsor of this video. Go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server or add your existing Minecraft server to Apex Minecraft hosting. They can help you do that because they have 24 hours, seven day a week support, and you'll be able to play your server on amazing hardware that is super easy to update when the time comes. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Also want to mention that if you have plugins, you have mods in your server, it's going to be much more difficult to update. Specifically with mods, it might be worth just completely starting a new fresh server because a lot of mods converting from 117 to 118 have had some issues and you have to wait for every single mod to update that's on your server to 1.18 to be able to update your server. Because on a modded server, you're going to basically replace all the mods with 1.18 mods and then go through this sort of a tutorial. On a plugin server, it's a little easier and it can be okay if you remove some plugins in the updating process, but the process will need you to add in the 1.18 version of most of the plugins. Nevertheless though, let's go ahead and do this. First off, we have a 1.17 server here. You can see this because it says starting Minecraft server version 1.17.1 there, but also we're in Minecraft 1.18. If we try to join this server, it's just, it's not going to work, right? It's, it's not going to happen. However, if we go ahead and update it, you'll see that this will work. So how do we do that? Well, first we need to stop the server. We need to close out of it, stop the server right like so. Once we've stopped it, we need to back it up. That's because there can be issues when you update your server that might corrupt worlds or do something like that. Nobody wants that, but if we have a backup, that's okay. So what we wanna do is go ahead and select our server directory, right click on it, click copy, and then right click and click paste. And then it will create as you can see, Minecraft Vanilla Server, copy. Then just kind of drag this out of the way, whatever, get it off of the main part of your screen because we're still going to update this main server. But if you have any issues, you can just go back to the backup you created. By the way, if you do want to create backups automatically, there's a link in the description down below to Backblaze. It's an amazing automatic backup program. Check them out. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this server updated. To do that, we need to download the updated server files. And on these update versions, I always link this in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC version, because, well, it takes you here, where you can see all the different versions of Minecraft all the way back to 1.0 in 2011. Tons of different options here and something really, really worth getting. But once you're here, you go ahead and click on the version you want. In our case, it's going to be 1.18. And then click on the download server jar and it downloads in the bottom left, right like so. So awesome way to get the versions there. You can keep it or save it in the server screen, depending on Mozilla Firefox. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and find that file in our downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little Windows icon on the top of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or if you're on Windows 10, in the center of your screen, the little Windows icon, and then type in downloads, right like so. You have this downloads file folder, click on that. And then in here, you'll have server.jar. Drag this to your desktop. Now we want to open up your server directory, in my case, Minecraft Vanilla Server, and there'll be a server.jar in here as well. Go ahead and delete that. We don't need that server.jar anymore. What we then want to do is take our existing server.jar or new one that we just downloaded and drag and drop it into this folder here. So basically all we did was replace the server.jar in our Minecraft servers folder with the new 1.18 server.jar. From that point, you can double click on your run bat file, or if you're running your server with the, uh, you know, server.jar itself, you can double click on that and it will go ahead and get things started. Now expect there to be, uh, how do I put this? A lot of different stuff that you're not used to seeing when starting your server at first because it's saying, oh wow, they're converting the server. That's, that's crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then eventually you'll see a starting Minecraft server version 1.18 and it will go through and prepare the world for 1.18. This first startup is going to take a while. So much so I wouldn't even watch it. It could take minutes, 10, 20 minutes isn't uncommon on larger worlds this one will be faster because it is a you know smaller world it's just my test server but if you have a large survival world it could take hours to convert the world correctly now that's because it's adding layers under bedrock basically what happens in the 1.18 world conversion is the bedrock layer is replaced with i believe it's deep slate cobble 
And then under that, it actually becomes new caves, new, you know, everything. It's a really, really cool update and great for servers, but it does, and great for adding new life to servers, but it does take a while to convert. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut, and we'll actually be able to see exactly how long it took for this smaller world right here, where it says 16 and 8 seconds, or 16 hours, 8 minutes and 13 seconds. That's a timestamp, and so we'll see what that says once the world's finally converted. Hello, we are now back after the jump cut, and as you can see, uh, I think it took like 5 or 10 minutes there. Let's see, it took quite a while. Yeah, over 10 minutes to convert a small world. Um, as soon as I clicked back on this, it then started working, so it might not have had as long as 10 minutes. It might have been a few minutes, but still, I mean, as you can see, it does take a while, and then once it does start working, it kind of goes, right? At that point, it just, it uh, kind of, kind of starts working, as you can see. However, we can now go ahead, come over here, and refresh in Minecraft, and there it is, a local server, and uh, by the way, this is just my local host, proof that it is this server here, and we can go ahead and join in, and it will pop up on the left-hand side that we are joining, and now it's just joining as normal, right? But again, that's why it's so important that you took that back up earlier, because if you didn't, this may have some issues. Um, let's go ahead and and up myself if uh, I'm not opt. I may be on this server. I don't know. Uh, it looks like, huh? What? Op didn't work? Well, what is happening? <laughs> There we go. And uh, now we can go ahead and make it uh, day for example. But uh, yeah, now we are in 1.18. The advantage, and what I want to show you, what I meant here, is if we go down into Spectator and go down under the world, once we hit Y level 0, right, you will notice that there is um, kind of just like all of this stuff, right? <laughs> As you can see, at Y level 0, there's uh, kind of nothing, right? You, you're going to see there's, there's like, well, you can actually see right in the center of the screen there, there's kind of like this like level and it's where bedrock was right and as you can see right here bedrock was replaced in this area and now you have all of this diamonds all of this under y level zero that you can explore and uh all that stuff so awesome stuff there one of the coolest updates we've ever had to minecraft but as you can see that's why it takes so long for this to update any new chunks you generate by the way basically anywhere where you hadn't been before this update will have extremely high mountains and things like that in them so um yeah that's kind of how you can get those bigger mountains and things like that is by like going out here for example i doubt i generated these chunks out here and they're probably going to generate you know higher mountains and things like that so anyway thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. That is how you can update your server. Back up your server. I can't get that stressed enough. And Backblaze is a great way to make sure that you can quickly and easily back up your server. Just personal backup will allow you to back up a local Minecraft server once a day for seven dollars per month so well worth it and uh also apex minecraft hosting if you decide to host there has free backups 24 or once a day as well so you can rely on that if you go with apex but if you want to host your server locally get back place it's also going to protect all the other data on your computer well worth it i use it myself uh, as you can see right there it is running all that stuff i love back place anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up hopefully you enjoy your newly updated minecraft server and you enjoy minecraft 1.18 this is the best update i've seen in minecraft in a long time so go play it if you haven't already but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace